Uh, demonic Currency. First card. Two. Three. Four. I'm not looking at those until I get through the, uh, get through the campaign. The Gates of Hell! It would be rad as if this entire level just, like, took place inside Rodan's bar. That's probably not gonna happen. Just saying, like, that'd be super cool. No, I guess we did. Just straight up break it open. Ugh, more of this, like, impossible space. Uh, then again, like, in the first game, there were three of these. There's probably an encounter, uh-huh. Wait, did I not hit that back? Alright, that's one. There we go. Okay, okay. That doesn't seem to uh, build up um, magic as much. I think I guess uh, someone at Platinum was totally aware of that. Wow. I guess uh, someone at Platinum was like totally aware of the fact that um. God, that torture attack is so cool. Um, someone was like totally aware of the fact that. Uh, you could use breakdance on just a large group of enemies and it would fill up uh, your magic in seconds. Regardless of uh, how many uh, pearls you've collected. Cool, I'll just hang on to this. I mean, I don't think I can just unleash Umbran Climax whenever. I hope not, because that would really suck. I'm surprised I didn't get anything from that. Mm, alright, alright, alright. Oh god, perspective. Right, that is where we're going at some point. Pretty sure I can just like walk off the edge. So let's not do that. Uh oh. What the heck am I looking at? Gazer of Death Malicious. Ooh, she is not for delicious. Oh uh, yeah, I said I was saving it. And that was a good reason to save it. Yeah, it's afterburner kick to the face. Or whatever your face is. Uh, some stuff dropped. Alright, there's totally gonna be some extra stuff in this area. I can feel it. Oh, I just walked over an item. Didn't even realize it. Yeah, there's a portal. Uh, and here's a tomb. <laughs> I 
Mega Bloody Rose. Have I used any of those yet? Like, actually used? Okay, okay. Like, I see something on the other side. Oh, okay, he just opened a portal. Oh! Cool. 7 out of 20. Alright, anything else over here? I feel like there ought to be one more thing. Alright, advance the plot. Ah! Aha! I haven't seen one of these in a while. One, two, three, four... That seems easy enough. Which is why it gave me no time to do it. I don't know if I'll get this in time. Where was the last one? <laughs> oh, there it is. Over there. No way. I called it, though. I called it the first time I saw one of these. It's like, we're gonna get to a point. Three... Four, five. Okay, next, the portal. Like, I totally remember saying, like, we're gonna get to a point. I balls that up mega hard. Okay, alright. Last attempt. This better be worth it. There, up on the inside. Three. Four, five, okay. So this one... Hard... Up and through... Here. And the last one is down on the steps. Is it worth it? Yeah, that's worth it. It keeps saying both pieces fit together. I don't recall ever getting, like, Moon Pearl pieces. Yep. This is still the, uh... The Paradiso chapter. I figure one or two more levels of this. Wait a minute. It's on the up. I totally forgot about that. Ooh. It's fine. Oh, it's one of these guys again. I don't know if these guys are underused or overused. But I think this is the third or fourth time I've encountered them. It's like, I know that was a dodge. I didn't see it, but I could feel it. Climax. Ooh, ooh.
That should do it. Do I have to re-pick that up? Wait, what? What? Weird. We put it on the opposite side. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and pick this up. Alright, back down. Um... Oh, wait, was that just a glimpse of red? Or was there a crow right there? There is, there it is. Got it. Uh, yeah, Rodon can wait. I'm good on items. You handle this. Dead. Dead. Oh, that's that was all I had. That's fine. Ooh, there's something down there. Platinum! Nice! Ooh! Oh, it's just an orb. At least I think that was just an orb. tell what that is. Oh, that's a record piece. Two of three? Yeah. Right. I was gonna say, it's like, this is just out here. This has to be an extra encounter. Oh, it's true, I didn't actually see how these guys attack last time. Because I popped Umber and Climax and just called it a day. So I didn't actually see, like, how they work. Oh, why? Not bad, not bad. We're doing okay. Uh... I don't believe there's anything else down there. I still don't have, uh... I have two unfinished LPs. I have half of one in... Uh-oh. That's a big arena. I get the impression that there might be something on the outside. Yeah, I see something. Oh no, it was just that. Uh-huh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew he'd be back. Should, just in case. Because the golem seems to be one of the strongest of the sub bosses. Wow, that was fast. I definitely like this version 
better. Like, it's way, way cooler aesthetically. Break it. There we go. Oh, my old friend, the sword. That's all right. This is the last form. Dead. I hope. Climax, there we go. Super dead. It's gonna miss. Or not. I stand corrected, and it up, uh... I think that completely knocked it around upright. So in the first game, the Heratonk, Hecatonker, Heratonkalese, whatever. You know that what? infernal you demon, like, spikes the golem and misses. I mean, take me there. I suppose you're right. I think I've done my job here. Time for me to hit the road, love. Things to do and all. The world is dark and full of terrors. No place to be alone. What do you want about love? You should be happy I helped you this long. Now I have to get to Thimbleventer. No, you will stay right here. I, I... I can't focus on what I need to do here if I have to worry about you off on your own. Come now, I'll take you to Thimbleventer after we finish my business. Yeah, great plan, love. You can't be on your own, so let's go into the depths of hell. Go save your friend. I'm out of here. I said no. You again? Listen, mate. One, uh. the mask is shit, okay? And two, get out of my way. Your sins must be punished, Loki. What? Galaxy Poncho. He's here. Who are you? Pretend to forget me. Yet even if your memory may now be lost, the remembrances of time exist forever. Am I wrong, human sage? I'm the one you've been trying to kill this whole time? Umbra Witch. I am who you shall face. You will return what is rightfully mine. What I should never have lost. The Eye. The Eye. Child or not. That was some really good no eye mercy, detail. Sovereign one. The sins you have forgotten are timeless. Now, remember them as you stare upon my face. Sorry, mate. Nothing comes to mind. But now that I know that mouth of yours works, maybe you could jog my memory a bit. Not yet. Not yet. So did they? Okay, so profit. All right. I'm dodging. Oh, all right. So I wasn't expecting this fight right here. I thought it was farther in the game. I thought this was uh, much farther. Um. 
So, I was gonna say something, but uh, I didn't think that cutscene would run on that far. Uh, and it's probably, it's irrelevant now due to this fight. Uh, but there's an interesting character dynamic with uh, Bayonetta and Loki in this game. Um, whereas uh, Bayonetta 1, you have Bayonetta and Cereza, who is her younger, like, child part removed from time, essentially. You have uh, Bayonetta and Cereza is, like, Bayonetta as a kid, and she's ultra-reluctant to kind of, like, protect her and, like, be her guide. But now, here in this game, um... Oh, is he gonna attack me with Pisa? I'm getting ready to mash. Uh... Sick. Uh, so now, uh, like, here we are in this game, where, um... Like, she's, like, pro actually, like, protective of Loki. It's hard... Uh... Stuff is happening on the screen, so it's a little hard for me to, like, get that point across. But I think you know what I'm getting at. So I haven't actually been looking at the at the uh, life bar. Have I been doing damage? All right. Wow, that came out of nowhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Like, I know I'm doing damage, but just, like, I wasn't aware of how many life bars he had, because I looked down, and I was doing Umbered Climax, and I was just chipping barely. Alright. Wait, was I supposed to dodge there? I know it was in cutscene, but... Meanwhile... I was going to say, he's going to go on about opening the, the left eye. But you may still forfeit it, like a lady. No lady would ever hand anything to a man who chases after little boys. Right? If you will not listen, then you will see. See a power beyond time. Hey, it's mom and dad. What is the meaning of this? You said this was to stop the witch's rebellion. Enough of your empty words! Balder! This war is not your doing. No, it is not. I was deceived. Deceived by the light. Rosa, I'm so sorry. Please, please be still. I will save you. Oh, <laughs> 
Man, Fortitudo in the past as a summon in the first game, always an asshole. What have you done, Rosa? Rosa, stay with me now. It's been twenty years since I last saw you, but I kept it safe all this time. The present you gave me. Symbol of our love. Your face will be the last thing I see. Thank you. Rosa, Rosa, please. Don't speak. I will save you. It's still not too late. Older. Take care of Zereza. Watch over her. See to it no harm comes to her. When the time comes, our dear sweet child will be the one. One to awaken. Rosa. 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 No. Rosa. Rosa. vision of truth, a remembrance of time. Lies! You possess the left eye, do you not? You are an overseer. See the truth. See with the left eye of darkness. Was unexpected. A little bit. But no bother. The return of the eyes is simply a matter of time. Hmm. How's that for a plot dump? Also, wow, dude! I'm okay with that. Uh, so I'd also like to point out that um, despite being the villain of the first game, it seems like Baldur got completely blindsided and screwed over by the angels themselves. Probably just Fortitudo, because that guy's a huge dick. Uh, chapters 8 and 9. Verse card 1, verse card 2, and that's it.